Donald Trump is increasingly positioned to make a formidable showing in the upcoming 2024 presidential election, with recent polling data suggesting that he has gained substantial ground compared to his performance in the 2020 election against Joe Biden. This analysis reveals a significant shift in voter sentiment that appears to favor Trump over Kamala Harris in several key battleground states, which will be crucial in determining the outcome of the election. One of the most critical aspects of this analysis lies in the manner in which mainstream media often frames the narrative around electoral polling. The media tends to focus on isolated leads for Harris, frequently portraying her as having a slight advantage in certain states. However, when one examines the broader electoral landscape and considers a more comprehensive array of data, it becomes clear that Trump is performing markedly better than he did in the previous election. This is particularly evident in several states that were considered competitive in 2020. For example, states such as Missouri, South Carolina, and Alaska are showing Trump gaining significant traction, with projections indicating that he is on track to win these states by much larger margins than he achieved in the last election cycle. In stark contrast, Harris appears to be struggling in several traditionally Democratic strongholds, including Washington, New York, and New Jersey. These are states where Biden had previously won by considerable margins, often by 15 points or more. The shift in voter sentiment away from Harris in these regions raises important questions about her campaign's ability to maintain support in areas that have historically been seen as safe for the Democratic Party. Florida serves as a particularly illustrative case of this trend. In 2020, polling indicated that Trump was projected to lose Florida to Biden by a narrow margin. However, recent polls reveal a remarkable turnaround, showing Trump leading in the state by approximately 6%. This represents a significant shift in voter preferences and signals that the dynamics within this critical state are increasingly favoring Trump as he heads into the election. Similarly, in Arizona, Trump has taken a slight lead over Harris, which marks a notable departure from 2020 when he was trailing Biden by a narrow margin. This shift suggests that Trump is gaining momentum in a state that will be pivotal in determining the election outcome. As we move to the Midwest, the polling data reveals that traditional Democratic strongholds may be becoming increasingly vulnerable for Harris. States such as Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan are showing signs of a shift in support that could significantly benefit Trump. In Iowa, for example, current polling shows Trump leading by about 4%. While this figure may seem modest, it may not fully capture the level of enthusiasm and support that Trump is likely to generate among his voter base as Election Day approaches. In the previous election cycle, Iowa was viewed as a highly competitive battleground. However, Trump ultimately won the state by a larger margin than polling had indicated. This pattern of polling underestimating Trump's support has been observed in several Midwestern states, suggesting a potential for him to once again outperform expectations. Moving further into the Midwest, we find similar dynamics at play in Wisconsin. While current polling indicates that Trump is trailing slightly, his overall trajectory suggests that he could reclaim the state. Historical trends demonstrate that polling can often misrepresent Trump's support in these areas, and the continued enthusiasm for his campaign could turn the tide in his favor. In the previous election, Biden was projected to win Wisconsin by a comfortable margin, yet he ultimately secured victory by a significantly narrower margin than expected. Michigan, another key battleground state, is also experiencing a shift in dynamics. Current polling shows Harris leading by a slim margin, but the data from past elections indicates that Trump has the capacity to surge in the final weeks of campaigning. The historical precedent of his ability to gain ground quickly could play a significant role in determining the outcome of this state. In the 2020 election, polling in Michigan showed Biden leading by substantial margins just days before the election. Yet Trump managed to close the gap and perform better than anticipated. Ohio is yet another state where Trump is showing a strong lead, currently polling about 8% ahead of Harris. This reflects a substantial change from the 2020 election when polling indicated a much closer race. The trend suggests that voters in Ohio are decisively moving toward Trump, indicating a potential victory margin that could exceed 10 percentage points. This trajectory highlights a growing sense of support for Trump among Ohio voters, further indicating a shift in the political landscape. Perhaps the most critical state to consider in this analysis is Pennsylvania, known for its pivotal role in determining presidential elections. Current polling indicates a very tight race, with Trump and Harris virtually neck and neck. However, data from previous elections suggests that Trump has the capacity to surge in the final weeks, similar to his past performances. If he can replicate this surge, it could play a crucial role in his overall electoral strategy. Historically, Trump's support has often been underestimated in the lead-up to elections, and if he manages to gain ground in Pennsylvania, it could significantly alter the trajectory of the election. Overall, this analysis suggests that while Kamala Harris holds leads in certain states, those margins are considerably weaker compared to Biden's performance in 2020. This dynamic poses significant challenges for her campaign as she seeks to maintain critical electoral votes in states that are increasingly trending red. The evidence of Harris's declining support in crucial areas raises important questions about her campaign strategy and her ability to mobilize voters effectively in the weeks leading up to the election. In summary, the current electoral landscape appears to favor Trump as he approaches the November election. His performance in key states is markedly improved compared to both the 2020 and 2016 elections, suggesting a viable path to victory if these trends continue. 
The evolving dynamics of the electoral map, combined with Harris's struggles to maintain support in critical regions, indicate a highly competitive environment that could ultimately tip the scales in Trump's favor in the upcoming election. The implications of this analysis extend far beyond the candidates involved. They resonate throughout the broader political landscape in the United States. If Trump maintains, or even expands his current polling lead, he has the potential to redefine the boundaries of the electoral map, reclaiming states that were previously considered Democratic strongholds. As the election date draws closer, the focus will undoubtedly shift to how both campaigns adapt to these changing dynamics, and how voter turnout and engagement will ultimately impact the results on election day. This ongoing evolution of voter sentiment and campaign strategy will be crucial in shaping the future political landscape of the nation.